decorators. They are such a great bang for your buck item. They add so much detail and all they are is an item hot glued onto a little piece of toothpick. We're gonna start making some hanging flags. They are printable textures in the tech and torches manual. And then we're gonna go on talking about some other items you can grab on the Game Gear Master online store to also make decorators. So let's get started. So you're going to need at least one printout of the flags from the Torino Tech and Torches printable textures file. And here I'm doing the double height banners or flags and just need to glue them onto uh, some cardboard. I like to add glue to both the cardboard and the paper because that way it gets on there really well. It just guarantees if you miss a spot on one or the other, you're mostly going to get glue on there from doing it on both sides. And they're just going to put that aside to dry. It's always good to put it underneath a book so it stays flat. And then we're finally going to talk about that little round circle hole on the facade of the socketed connectors. Well, that is the plug for decorators. And we're going to take a pin, push pin, needle, whatever you got, and go through the center of that. And then we're going to set the width of that hole to the toothpicks we're going to be using for decorators. So we just widen it out to there. Perfect. Then just cut out the flags. Now you'll notice there's a thick black border around these flags. This is to ensure that if you cut them a little off, you won't have like white edges that'll kind of look icky. Um, so yeah, so you should have a, a lot of kind of room for error there. And then we want to line up that flag where we want it to sit on our connectors. So we hold it in place and then turn it over and then mark that hole. And now we need to prep our toothpick. We want to take that sharp edge off because we want to have a flat edge to glue onto the decorator. And then you just hot glue it onto our mark. And then while that's drying, I'm going to make the hole for the decorator in one of my connectors. And you just do that by laying the template over the connector and then punching through it with the toothpick. And then once that's dry, we're gonna use two pieces of foam board to set the depth of that toothpick. In other words, that toothpick should be the, the length of two thicknesses of foam board. And that's it, you're done. You've made your first decorator. That's what's so great about these. Basically you print something out or you attach something to the end of a toothpick and voila, you have a decorator. And then we're gonna use some stuff that you can get at the Game Gear Master online store. Most of these are beads or little trinkets. Uh, they're relatively cheap. I think they're like a few bucks for sometimes like tens or dozens or hundreds even. Um, and they're great because they fit with the scale of Terreno and basically all you have to do sometimes is just like cut off the rings of them like I did in this one here. And then you just add some hot glue, you add a toothpick to it and all of a sudden you have a decorator and it takes like, you know, a minute. Here's those wolf's heads. You might remember these from when we did the LED torches. Um, I think we used a skull too. I think that skull we used to make an LED light that lit through the skull's eyes, which was pretty cool. But here we're using them as a decorator, and it's literally just as easy as hot gluing on a piece of toothpick. And last but not least, we're using this large skull with all this kind of like ornate detailing on it. This one's really cool. And by the way, these come in chrome, and I think they also come in gold. And, you know, there's no reason you can't paint these, too. If you want something that's not metallic, paint over it. And again, we're going to use those two thicknesses of cardboard to set the depth of the decorator connector. Looks pretty cool. So now think about that with a torch on the bottom or some kind of socket insert and you've got a really cool looking um, decorative detail. Can't go wrong with the wolf's head. And the big skull. And just for good measure I also made a bat because I figured who, who wouldn't want a bat, right? 
You can see this is sort of in a dull gold finish with a with a uh, shading on it, and these are all available on the Game Gear Master Online store. So this is why I really do love decorators. I mean, they are super fast to make. You literally put a dab of hot glue and a toothpick on something, and then all of a sudden you have a really cool decorative detail. And these little trinkets that I'm showing here, they're, they're very reasonably priced. So you can get a whole bunch of these guys for very little money. But that doesn't mean you have to get them. You can just use the printouts for banners and flags in the Torino Tech and Torches manual, or you can make your own. I mean, you could literally also just make a piece of foam, paint it, and make that a decorator. So the there's a lot of possibilities here for a lot of fun things for, uh, to add. And I would love to see what you come up with. If you have a cool decorator idea, leave it in the comments and uh, maybe it'll make it into the uh, Tech and Torches manual in the future. So thanks. So if you haven't already, you can get started right now on your Torino journey by downloading the Torino construction manuals at GameGearMaster.com. They are consistently rated five stars and come with a 14 day hassle free money back guarantee. That means if Torino's not for you, no problem. You'll get your money back. No questions asked. Happy crafting.